What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Gloss Garage of Weak, Link, Detailing, Simple. My name is Sock and today I have something special for you guys. We'll be talking about this product right here. Bam! Extra tough wheel and tire cleaner. Why I love this wheel and tire cleaner, you could use this as a waterless wash, rinseless wash, or a traditional wash. You could replace your Adams wheel and tire cleaner, your PNS brake buster, and stuff like that. I've been using this since last winter when it first came out and I like it because it's a dedicated wheel and tire cleaner. And I will show you guys why I love it because this is where it shines is the winter time and you guys will see the whole in-depth review. And on top of that, this was sent out to me by Extra Tough, but I will get more in details inside the video when I do the voiceover of me showcasing my waterless wash method and my rinseless in conjunction with a rinseless wash method to clean the wheels to get that deep clean. And yes, just to let you guys know, you guys get an extra 10% off of any product. You can get this five gallon pail for $118 on their website, plus an additional 10% off using detailing made simple 10 off at your at checkout for your entire order. So pretty much $118, 10% off. You're paying $100 for this five gallon pail and so on and so forth. You do get free shipping all around the US, no matter what you order on their website, whether it's a 32 ounce gallon, two gallon or five gallon pail. So the link will be down below in the description. And if you guys like this type of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, everyone. So like I stated in the intro, I will show you guys both ways that I like to do this, especially for winter months. It is getting cold up here in New York. It is raining, it is starting to rain. I just really want to demo this product on how great it is. Look how dirty and gunked up these wheels and tires are it hasn't been washed in about three to four weeks maybe a little longer nothing more than five weeks and look at all that brake dust that's caked on you do take an extra tough wheel and tire cleaner i like to use it straight especially on the waterless washway and then i will show you guys in conjunction with the rinseless wash that way you get a deeper clean and in a way you are neutralizing the cleaner that's in there because this is actually high on the alkaline scale and you use it on the wheels and tires. You do not need to use gloves. It is biodegradable, is eco-friendly. But again, I am working with chemicals, so I like to use gloves at all times. So let's go ahead and get started. So first you just go ahead and spray the entire wheel. All right, everyone. So I am doing a voiceover for this section of the video just because there was a helicopter that passed by for about five minutes of this video. And when I played the audio back, it was very annoying to hear myself and the helicopter in the background. So yes, let's just go ahead and get started with this review on this amazing product. So let's go ahead and break down on why I like and love extra tough wheel and tire cleaner. So pretty much with the wheel and tire cleaner, why I am enjoying this product and why I love it. And I come back to it. And like I said in my intro that this is my go-to and this is where it shines in the winter months it is cold out here it is raining outside but this is just a demonstration video on how you could do this as a waterless wash you guys saw me saturate the entire wheel and tire let it sit let the product go because you could use this as a rinseless wash method or a waterless wash method but this one i'm showing the waterless wash and it breaks down all that dirt and grime and removes it from the actual rim and tire and you guys don't need a tire brush to do this and i do have an extra video at the end so you guys can see it as well on gloss black rims or not really gloss black but gloss gray uh, rims on a acura mdx so once you let the product dwell for about a minute or so you go ahead and gently just wipe down the actual rim and you guys just see how big of a difference a clean is just on these two spokes that i did compared to the rest of the rim and again you just want to be gentle as possible this is a waterless wash and on top of that i like to wear gloves just because of the simple fact it's not because of the product itself this product is very user friendly but and biodegradable but the thing is that i am touching iron fallout iron contamination i'm cleaning off these dirty things off of the surface and that's why i primarily like to use gloves so yes i am talking throughout this video and this video was a little bit draw drawn out just because i was talking throughout the video trying to give the tutorial with all that noise in the background but yes you just go ahead and no pressure you see how dirty my microfiber towels are you guys could use your throwaway towels 
after you wash them that you don't want to use on your paint or you could use these throwaway towels that i like to use which is the kirkland microfiber towel and some people will say hey aren't you scratching the rim or scratching the surface and to be transparent with you guys like i always am is that yes you are introducing some scratching some marring but again it encapsulates the dirt it's the safest wash possible and this is an alternative because again these are the winter months and even when you're driving your vehicle all the rocks and debris that you kick up the rims no matter how well that you protect them especially if it's a daily driver will have its own ridge scratches and debris and swirls on it so it's something that you guys need to keep in mind and just look how clean these these rims are just coming out they're coming out nice clean and just looks brand new right i am just cleaning the surface of the wheels now i am resaturating again applying more product on the tire that way it could pull off more of that browning and you just scrub with the clean sides of your microfiber towel just clean off that overspray that's on the rims and scrub until clean so that way it can accept any type of tire dressing of your choice now something that i really want to touch up on this video is that yes extra tough did send this out but i was going to make a video regardless of the fact i do have a 32 ounce bottle even though i put everything on my ik sprayer just because it's much more durable i am clumsy sometimes when it comes to dropping chemicals i do have concrete floors and when i do drop them the bottles tend to break so i put them in the ik sprayer I also want to thank Michelle from Extra Tough for allowing me to review the five gallon pail of the wheel and tire cleaner and she did send this out and also I for me I found an easier way to pour it instead of pouring it onto a bottle or a funnel you just go ahead and buy a pump and I will show you guys I will link it down below in the description on Amazon so you guys could purchase that pump it's only about eight dollars and it will last you a lifetime and this wheel and tire cleaner is very economical it's 118 dollars for five gallons and on top of that you get an additional 10 percent off that i asked extra tough to provide so that way you guys can order this and enjoy it for the holiday season now you just go ahead and continue cleaning the tire and rubber right you keep spraying it and just keep cleaning the tire and rubber the same way you would do with the traditional wash you want to make sure all that browning comes off and you guys will see how clean my towel comes out to be with this second pass of scrubbing the tire walls with a microfiber towel and you just see how much less dirt is actually coming out and i'm not getting anything much on the actual microfiber towel it's just super clean and now it's ready to accept any tire dressing of your choice and in this video it took me about nine minutes as i'm talking again i was talking in this video showing you guys and telling you guys the methods that i like to use to do this waterless wash and you can actually do this waterless wash method with the tire and rim in literally five minutes or less it's not going to take you that long or you need to throw away towels if you want to use throwaway towels just use them you'll run usually one microfiber towel per section and that's about it and i will show you guys a quick before and after and just look how bright and clean the rims are right here but let's just go ahead and show you the before and after just to give you guys a quick refresher on how the wheels and tires look before here it is right here all that brake dust the browning on the tire and we just used the waterless wash method to remove all that browning and everything and look how nice and bright the rims look the tire is super clean and now i am applying my carpal pearl tire dressing which is my favorite tire dressing diluted one to one just to give it that nice complete look and then we will take a look and compare from the rear of the passenger side wheel and tire to the front and you guys know it's a night and day difference hopefully you guys enjoyed this segment right here now we're going to move on to the rinse and swash with this product so that way you guys can get a deeper clean and hopefully you guys enjoyed this segment All right, so this is the rinseless wash method. And if you want, I'll get into the spokes inside the back, inside the barrel, so you guys can actually go ahead and see how you can actually clean this. And again, I like to use the rinseless wash if I'm cleaning inside the barrel, because again, it is, it is neutralizing the cleaner. But I will show you guys in conjunction on how you can even get a deeper clean. And the fact that the waterless wash did that 
much of an amazing job. You could clean inside the barrels. And I like to just clean the face of the wheel mostly with the extra tough wheel and tire cleaner, but I will use it in the barrels in conjunction with the rinseless wash. And you guys will see how deep of a clean this actually does. So I already have, you can use any rinseless wash of your choice. At the moment, I'm using DIY details. Rinseless wash, because to me at the moment, it's, it penetrates deep and actually cleans and pulls off the dirt. I'm not saying that, you know, PNS absolutely doesn't do that. They all do it. It's just some have more surfactants than others. So I go ahead and saturate the wheel. And you guys see it's already starting to go ahead and pull all that dirt and grime from the actual rim. And again, since you can already use this as a waterless wash, this has its own emulsifying capabilities as well. So now you're just adding double cleaning power onto this wheel and tire cleaner, and it's just gonna do an amazing job. So you guys will see on how clean this whole wheel comes out. And I will clean again the spokes and then neutralize it with the rinseless wash. And it's just gonna come out pretty much brand new. And again, you could use this with a bucket. A rinseless wash just means you don't rinse after. And on top of that, the good thing about this is you can actually clean the spokes if you want. You're cleaning the wheels with the scrub brush and all you need is two gallons of water or one gallon of water and you could do this inside your garage. Heat it, just buy a gallon of distilled water or two gallons and you get a deeper clean because now you're actually agitating with a scrub brush with your... Um, easy detail brush and cleaning the rim so i will show you guys this method go ahead and clean the tires and from here it's just pretty much just straight it's, it's simple go ahead and just scrub all around do what you need to do you see it's pulling off all that browning and you let it dwell in there i do have rinse wash inside my wheel bucket i go ahead i want to clean now, inside the, the barrel, go ahead, clean inside the barrel. Dump it in frequently, just so you get more rinseless wash solution. And you see all this dirt and grime that's coming off. With this wash, now if you want, go ahead, spray a little more. And again, this is very economical. The five gallons, I think it's $130, if I remember correctly on their website, and you guys get a discount code. So be on, be on the lookout for that. You guys get 10% off. So that's a big savings. And originally for this actual tough wheel and tire cleaner for the five gallon pail, actually cost $180. So they're already giving you an extra 10% off after the deal that they're having so you go ahead with your rinseless wash solution and again we're just adding extra lubrication extra cleaning power the whole nine yards go ahead just clean the face of the wheel with the flag tip nylon brush and i gotta get a new brush for this but you could just Go ahead, clean the lug nuts if you want, if you're that OCD, even in the winter. And from here, you can just use your rinseless wash as a pre-spray to help neutralize the rest of the cleaner. You're gonna rinse all that off. What I like to do is scrub twice, at least the tire. And that's what I like to do. Rub twice the tires, the rubber, just to ensure it's fully clean. And now as you can see, the foam is actually wider. And again, I did not rinse off everything with the rinse wash. It wasn't the full pressure that was on there. But as you can see now, it's, after this, I know it's 110% clean tire. And you guys can go ahead and add whatever tire dressing you guys want. So yes, so I just cleaned the face of the wheel as so. 
I already sprayed rinse and swash in here, so it neutralizes the cleaner and rinses off the rest of the dirt that's in there. And just look, look how clean the rims are. Look how much less dirt is on my towel just because I did the rinse off with the pressure of my rinse and swash. And now we're gonna clean the tires. Go ahead, scrub the whole tire. And if you guys want, by all means, clean the tire again. I'll do it for you guys. Grab this. Like I said, I know, I know this was 100% clean after that second scrub. But if you really want the peace of mind and insurance, go ahead, scrub off the rest of the overspray that's on the rim. And scrub off the rest that's on the tire. And there you go. You have a completely clean, fresh tire ready for any tire dressing. You can let it sit there, dry for a bit, or if you want, actually put your whole hand inside and clean inside the barrel. If you guys feel that way, clean behind the barrel. That's all up to you guys. That's up to your discretion. But this is good enough for me for, again, a winter wash. It's You have salt on the road. You have dirt and grime on the road. It's snowing. It's already snow on, uh, on the road. It's going to get dirty right away. But we just want to make sure we clean off and protect the rims. Now, as a standalone protection, you can go ahead and add any sealant you want. You can add ceramic gloss, you can add bead maker, turtle wax, seal and shine, anything for the rims to protect the rims. So that way it's easier to clean. I'm adding again, Carpo Pearl tire dressing and just applying it onto the tire. And that is it. This is how you guys get amazing results. Nice and easy. You guys could do this literally in the cold. One one wheel would literally take me about seven minutes to wash. Tops most if I'm doing this. And I'm not gonna lie, the only reason why it took seven, eight minutes to do this rinse and swash was because I'm talking to you guys, but in reality I could really do this within like three, four minutes of tire. And this is me doing the extra deeper clean that, like I said, I want cleaning the barrels, doing all that with just the rinse and swash method. And let me bring you guys in for this way. And you guys can go ahead and let me know what you guys think. Look at inside the barrel. Look how clean it is inside the barrel. And yeah, so if you guys like this type of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Extra tough wheel and tire cleaner. It's literally going to change your life the way you detail your vehicle in the winter. And again, it's so economical. You guys could use this like this straight, or you guys could dilute it. You guys could do it in a waterless wash way, the way I used it up there on that front tire, or you guys could use it as a rinse and swash way, or you guys could use it in your traditional wash with the holes and everything, agitate and then hose it down. So it's very versatile, has very good lubrication. Again, it's biodegradable. It's user friendly. You do not need to use gloves, but again, me as a detailer, I, since we're working with chemicals, I like to wear gloves. And it's something that's really going to help you guys be more efficient in detailing, cleaning your car and getting top notch results. As you guys see right here, let's walk to the back just to show you one last time on a before of the opposite tire. And you guys can go ahead from here and just be the judge of this wheel and tire cleaner from Extra Tough. Again, 
thank you guys for sending out this product for me to review especially the five gallon pail because that's the only thing that you guys wanted to showcase because i was going to showcase this to you guys regardless because i do order this i do have a 32 ounce bottle of this and i use this a lot in my detailing business i like to put in an ik foam sprayer just uh ik multi uh sprayer just because of the simple fact that it's rigged and if i drop it on the floor it's not gonna break but yes this is just awesome so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and other than that i will see you guys on the next one peace